right here at CERN today, we saw history in the making. Scientific history, certainly. Down underground, 100 meters underground, in the Large Hadron Collider, the world's biggest particle accelerator. Some people say, in fact, it's the world's biggest machine. Certainly, it's a racetrack. You see, huge numbers of magnets came together. Huge numbers of people came together from around the world into the CERN control center. And what was it they were looking for? The injection of the first beam. À tous ceux qui ont fait effort depuis 1984. And this is the beginning of the day with Director General Robert Emar addressing the staff in French and wishing them good luck in the incredible et attempt they were ready to go with. Tout est prêt pour réussir. Ayez du courage pour la journée. Elle sera bonne, j'en suis certain. Encouraging everybody. Merci à tous. They certainly sounded confident, but in fact there were no certainties in this. It could have happened, maybe not. The event it moved incredibly One, smoothly. Zero. Nothing. Yes, sir. Yes. And here's the beginning of the process. The first proton beam being injected. And Lynn Evans there voilà. in the center of our screen. So here you can see the the position of the beam with respect to the center of the vacuum chamber, uh, that scale is plus or minus 10 millimeters. So you can see the beam is oscillating, but it's got uh, the three kilometers from point. And this is the beam as it progresses in its clockwise trajectory this morning, very early, earlier than expected, there. step by step through all the eight sectors Aye. of the LHC machine. And as the beam went from one stage to the next, there were cheers and applause for it. That, you see, is the halfway point, the first beam managing to get halfway to the CMS detector, right at the top of that graphic. Uh, the beam is now halfway around the LHC. It's gone through two experiments, the ALICE experiment and the CMS. CMS have seen some beautiful tracks coming off the absorber block that we have in, 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 in that uh, line. Now we are at point six and we are making some corrections and then we will take the beam around octant by octant. We've got four more to do and at this rate let's hope that within an hour we should get the beam all the way around the LHC. And they did do get all the beam around the LHC within less than an hour. They actually did it in uh, ha half an hour, so the whole process took a little bit more than an hour, the clockwise direction. Near the ha are assembled together. Yeah. Director General Mayani was Director General till year 2000, with Chopper was Director General until 89. And this is Roger Bailey, head of the LHC section. Okay. Three, two, one, face off. Countdown, three, two, Way! one, beam, and there it is. And that was the moment of the full circuit being achieved of the first beam. We saw those double flashes showing that the beam had set off and returned home. Truly a historic moment. And again, we are seeing replayed images of the completion of the first circle. And that's the graphical representation of the achievement, which all happened by about half past 10 this morning, extremely early of the first day. I want to congratulate CERN and its Director General, Robert Aymar, for having really organized this worldwide event. And this is Pierre Odone, Director General of the Fermi movement. National Laboratory in Chicago, which collaborates with CERN in the LHC Enterprise. This morning everything went smoothly and I think we are quite excited, quite happy and again congratulations to everyone and please enjoy <coughs> the, the, this result with us even if we have the distance in between.
Thank you, everyone, and cheers. This is Director General Robert Emar talking to Fermilab. At the end of the morning, when the first circle was completed clockwise. Back in the control room, I think this is the afternoon now there on the side of your screen. You are seeing the red beam, which is the second beam that they launched at, uh, I think, about just after 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And it made its slow progress around the enormous LHC. Roger Bailey there telling us from time to time what was going on. The beam made a controlled journey around the LHC, being stopped at various stages so that the engineers and the scientists and the technicians in the control center to, could control the beam better and reduce the oscillations and just improve the quality of it all in all. That was the first sector successfully <laughs> achieved in the counterclockwise direction. First injection in that direction. And this is the almost full circle done in the counterclockwise direction with just the last little bit missing from point one to point eight. It's the double and flashes we're looking for again. There it is, the completion of the circle. What a day. Not one beam, but two successfully sent around the LHC. So both channels, both acceleration channels were successfully navigated. No wonder they're feeling satisfied. And this okay, is the Director so General so congratulating Giorgio Brianti, one of the first project leaders of the LHC 25 years ago, who sure. said he was very happy to have lived long enough to see this. You can hear the popping of champagne corks. It was at 4.30 this afternoon that the celebrations really began in earnest because that's when the alcohol ba ban here at CERN is lifted and the partying started. But that doesn't mean that the work has stopped because some technicians, some engineers, some scientists remain on shift and they're going to continue working through the night to make sure that the next step will be a circulating beam. Of this uh, su successful day of spectacular, successful day of the start of the LHC uh, uh, machine operations, uh, I would also like to give some this is your attention single at five to the five thirty for the final briefing of the today. day. And uh, even if uh, they haven't seen beam-beam collisions yet, they will very soon, uh, they have been in a position to register the particles that were sent to them by the LHC, not cosmic rays this time, by the LHC, uh, at the time uh, that they needed to register them. So they were able to time in their detectors and make an enormous progress from well-prepared detectors to detectors that are really seeing what they should be seeing. So also there, at that front, uh, the LHC program today has really started, and we can look back also uh, in that respect at a very, very successful day. Again, the image is replayed of the completion of the full circle in both directions. And we've got not only one, but we've got both beams. Now, I, I think I, I've just come from a meeting where we, uh, we have discussed the program now for, for, the, uh, for the next 24 hours. We will be up continuing to work uh, through the night and through the day tomorrow, which is an official holiday in CERN. And uh, we will be going full speed at uh, getting this machine up to the energy, the 10 TV in the center of mass, and getting collisions for the start of the scientific program as soon as possible.